You started out on gasoline, and then you got two carburetors. One is for water, and one is for the diesel fuel, which you can switch over when you get it warmed up. And then you turn your water in on your fuel oil, otherwise it'll burn your valve. And uh, in, in other words, you got more power on your diesel fuel than you would have on your gasoline. That has no water in the radiator. That's an oil cool fluid uh, radiator in there. That high temperature oil. See? So you never have to worry about it freezing out. See, the horsepower on this is 30, 60. In other words, it's 30 in the drawbar and 60 in the belt. First started out to me about one a year. It was pretty slow process till they got on the bar, you know, going. This is the first successful wheel tractor on the, on the, in the world, I mean, to actually run and operate. There was a lot of other tractors, but they never operated. They couldn't. The first one was made in 19, I think it was 1902. First successful wheel hard part. 80 years of making equipment for American agriculture has forged a link between the men who built it and the man we built it for. This is my old standby. This is here, the 1937 model, Oliver 70. That's back when they still carried the heart power name. Back when I used to run it day and night, sometimes three days in a row without ever going to bed. That's back there during World War II. So, uh, I just put old granny on some old standby, see. <laughs> He'd be around here as long as I'm around here. Still run back so and see. Listen to the cackle there, will you? <laughs> Hart Farr, Oliver, Minneapolis Moline, Cockshut. We've been called all of those names. Now we're called White. The company that invented the tractor. The company that invented the plow. Our heritage is agriculture. And through four generations, we've served it, not just by building tractors, combines, planters, and plows, but by building them with the skill, the dedication, and the pride that our customers expect and deserve. Because every piece of white equipment is built by men who work as hard at their jobs as you do at yours, by men who care as much about the machine they build as you do about the machine you buy. I enjoy my job here, and the tractor we're making, I think, is the finest. And I think it's a challenge to put out a model or a tractor where, you know, people are dependent on it, and if you do good work, they're going to appreciate it. It's just like an automobile. If I buy a car, and there's somebody in an automobile plant with as much initiative as I got, then I know I'm going to get a good car when I buy it. I don't have to worry about it. And as far as I'm concerned, by naming this tractor the field boss, he did the right thing, because when you see it out in the field, it's doing the right job. Another thing working here, it's, it gives me a little pride when I go out in the road and happen to see a white out in the field or on a truck. I tell a wife or kids, I say, look, there's something I had far to make, and it makes you feel good. We've got a wonderful group right here. It, it, usually they're in groups of threes or fours, and then you get a group working together, it's just like a clock. Every man knows their job, and they do it right, and then everything goes too perfect. And every man in the plant as far as I know, in my unit and a couple down the line are always watching for defects. Because as far as we're concerned, this is just like building a house. We set this on the line to start with, and the rest is built on. Well, if the basement's no good, the house ain't gonna stand, right? So that's what we figured. We started out right over here, and we know when it goes down the line, it's gonna be all right. The white assembly line in Charles City, Iowa, where craftsmanship and tractor building is a tradition where the grandsons of the men who helped build the first hard pars build the latest models in the white line. The people who work here are as close to farming as they are to their own jobs. There's a, quite a few farmers in here that work in here, and they got uh, white tractors. The guy that I that rides along with me, he's got a white, and he's, he said he'll buy another one again, but he's had real good luck with it and all that. Quite a few other farmers that got white, and they all like them. I myself, I was farming, I didn't have one right away. You are a farmer, and we've built a complete line of tractors to fit the power needs of your farm. Tractors in every horsepower range, from 30 to 210. 
compact tractors, utility tractors, row crop tractors, and four-wheel drive giants. All rugged, all dependable, and all packed with the features you want. They're designed around you, built for your convenience, not manufacturing expediency, and built to last because we build them right, right from the beginning. The steel, when you pour, you put the furnace to soft, see? After you heat it up so many hours, you take it out and quench this oil, and this oil quenches it, and it hardens the part. And that helps the, the parts in the tractor so they don't break on you, see? Make sure your parts are hard. After, besides this, you harden your parts in the oil here, and then you draw them in them two, uh, draw furnace kits over there and that softens them a little bit they want to get so certain hardness and certain uh, hardness after after draw too see when you when you harden them they want around 500 per, per now or 600 per now for hardness then when you draw them they want down between 300 250 or 260 something like that 65 they don't want them too soft so when they get out in the field they'll they'll crack on you or break they uh they check this stuff uh 100 percent before they go out of the department they check it after the squint, as I said before, and they check it after it's drawn. We build the axles here, everything, right here on this stuff. All your, all your shafts and all your gears and everything are made right over there on other other machines over there. We cast our own transmission housings. Uh, we make all of our own axles uh, right from scratch. All, all your transmission components are made right here. Transmissions, uh, which I'm acquainted with here, I would say it was probably one of the best. From what I've heard uh, in other factories, uh, they don't take the, the care uh, that we do here. If you're going to be a good machine operator, you got to take some pride in your work, you know. I mean, it's just like any other job. If you run them like you own them, you're going to be all right. I think we build as good as there is. I really do. And not a thing wrong with our product. People who care. They're the ones that make the white quality story happen. Quality people building a quality product utilizing some of the most technologically advanced equipment in the industry. Okay, this machine here drills, bores, mills, does everything that there is to do on a piece. It holds tolerances within a couple tenths of a thousand. It'll hold location of bores within a couple tenths, bore sizes and everything within a couple tenths. The PTO housing on there now and they'll use it for, for a lot of different pieces that they make. They can switch over in a matter of a couple hours and make anything else that they want to make on it. From the time the piece goes on there to the time the piece comes off probably saves five or six operations. Here they do it in just one. Oh, it does excellent work. I mean, you can't... The pieces check out every time to within a couple thousand, and it's just a good machine. Computerized machines capable of holding tolerances of two tenths of a thousandth of an inch and computerized checking devices to make sure that they do. We can uh, put these pieces on this machine. We do away with all manual layouts, uh, do away with human error. Uh, it's all done by our computer. We have a tape that we run through our machine that gives us the print dimensions and as we check it, it prints all this out, it prints the actual dimension out what it checks, it reads into tens of thousands. The accuracy that we can get with this machine is much closer than you can probably get uh, doing it by hand. The tolerance that we, it is guaranteed is uh, plus or minus a half a thousand. Quality workmanship and quality control. From the foundry, through machining of the smallest piece, through assembly and the finished product that rolls off the line. White cares because we know you care. You want the best. And we wouldn't expect you to settle for anything less. That's why every tractor we make is given one of the industry's most thorough final inspections. Gears, lights, accessories, heating, cooling, hydraulics, sheet metal. They're all gone over thoroughly and carefully and the engine is checked to make sure you get the power you pay for. We check the horsepower through the PTO. On, on different days where you have different humidity and barometric pressures, and uh, we have to make up that difference. We have to figure out a correction factor each day, and uh, we end up with an observed horsepower, 
and we correct it with his correction factor. And if you get a low horsepower engine or, a, or one with excessive horsepower, then we have our, our factory man from the engine plant that's here, and he can make corrections, whatever. Might have a fuel leak or might have to change a fuel pump or something like that. And he can make those corrections here before they get out in the field. Alan. When the tractor you buy gets out in the field, it's been checked and rechecked. Not just by our inspectors, but by every person who had a hand in making each part and in putting those parts together. That's our way of building tractors. And it's our way of building every other piece of equipment we sell. Since the day James Oliver invented the chilled plow, our tillage line has been the standard of the industry, built around the famous white bottom. Every one ground and finished to perfection by hand because no machine can duplicate the work of a true craftsman. White plows are built to fracture, pulverize, and turn the soil evenly and smoothly. And they're built with features to help you do more work in less time. That's the objective of everything we make, to help the man who works the land accomplish more, to help him do a better job of farming. Our new seed boss planters exemplify that perfectly. They represent a totally new concept in planting, a totally new design that produces accuracy never before possible, and a seed handling system that's unmatched by any other planter in the industry. Seeds fall gently into the metering chamber and then into cells in the seed disk. There are no metal fingers, no fluted seed cups, no pneumatic tubes to damage the seed coat. Air pressure holds the seed in the cell until it drops safely and surely through a non-pressurized tube into the seed trench. The result is accurate populations, improved germination, and good stands. Perhaps the most dramatic example of White's dedication to agriculture is the 9700 Field Boss Axial Combine, the largest, most productive combine in the world. Released after 15 years of research and testing, the 9700 is capable of harvesting more than two 45-inch cylinder combines. Now and in the years to come, the 9700 will dramatically change harvesting by reducing operating costs, by reducing harvesting time, by delivering cleaner grain, by minimizing seed damage, and by limiting field loss. Every combine that leaves our Brantford plant, every plow and planter that comes off the line in South Bend, every tractor that rolls out of our Charles City plant, and every tractor built by our Ezeki associate carries with it the pride of thousands of people who deserve to be called the first family of farm equipment. Because our only job is serving you with a full line of implements and with a complete line of quality tractors, like the 4210, the perfect match of flexibility and power, with a sophisticated 14-channel monitoring system and a 636 cubic inch diesel engine that delivers a 23% torque rise, the 4175, with 150 PTO horsepower and a 3x6 over-under transmission, the 2180, powered by a fuel-injected Cat V8 with optional power assist front axle, the 2155, built for heavy duty, with massive inboard planetary final drives and a turbocharged diesel engine. The 2135, big tractor productivity from a 478 cubic inch diesel, one of the largest in its class. The 2105 and 285, powered by 354 cubic inch direct injection diesel engines, with closed center hydraulics and high capacity cooling systems. The 270, with 3x6 over-under transmission, 12 working gears, and 3-speed power shift. The 262 and 245, utility tractors with 4-cylinder engines and 20-speed transmissions. The 235 and 230, reliable diesel engines, designed for simplicity of maintenance and service, with lots of big tractor features and options. From the time we built the first Hart Bar, right up to today, we've had only one goal to help make the American farmer the most productive man in the world by designing good equipment and by building it the best way we know how. Through 80 years, the story of our success has been the story of your success, the story of the land, the man, and white.